In 1 Samuel chapter 6, there's this crazy story that the Philistines had captured the Ark of the Lord, and they had had it for seven months. And all this strange stuff started happening to them. God began to, well, began to judge them, to punish them, to kind of strike out against the Philistines for taking this holy object. They, they developed tumors and rats attacked them and people were extremely ill. So they went to their diviners, they went to their, um, I guess you'd call fortune telling type people, these apostate sort of pagan Philistines and they sought their advice and they said, return it. But don't just return it by itself, send an offering. And so they made golden rats and golden tumors and, and attached it to the ark and they sent it back to the Israelites to a place called Bet Shemesh. And when they got it, they, they were excited, they were pleased. And God removed the plagues from the Philistines. But when these people got it and it came down the hill being carried by cows or oxen, they, someone looked inside of it, which was forbidden by the Lord. And so God struck down many of the Israelites. And it's a picture of separation. It's a picture of holiness. It's a picture of God saying to those, there are certain things that you need to look upon with reverence. You need to look upon with separation. The Philistines couldn't keep it because of they were not connected to God. They didn't worship the one true God. And so God began to judge them. And then those who received it, the men in Bet Shemesh, well, they didn't follow the rules and the expectations of the Lord, and so he dealt with them. But the whole story there in 1 Samuel chapter 6 has to do with being separate. It has to do with being holy. It has to do with recognizing the severity of God's judgment upon not keeping yourself separate and holy. So how do we apply that to ourselves? How do we look at 1 Samuel chapter 6 about the ark being returned to Israel and say, well, what's that got to do with me? Well, it has to do with reverencing the Lord. It has to do with making sure we recognize that we're set apart for Him. To not take those things that we see holy, those things that we see that God has called us to, lifestyles and different things, as something to play around with but that God is serious, that we've been called to a separate life, to live a certain way, to act a certain way, not to be holier than thou, but that as we live that way, and as we serve a God like that, we become, well, more attractive to the world around us. You know, there's people who, who are physically attractive and talented and have all kinds of skills, but can be very unattractive by their attitude or by lifestyle or by the way they approach things. And so God calls us to not just a, a holiness of rule keeping, but what it has to do with an inner life, those things that make us attractive to the world to be salt and light. And so there's a separation called here in 1 Samuel chapter 6, and it has to do with holiness. Not holiness in a way that's, you know, grumpy and old fashioned and out of date, but in a way that causes you and I to be attractive to those outside of the Lord and say, wow, look at the lifestyle that this person has. They seem happy, they content, they don't seem like they complain all the time or, or grouchy about everything. And it has to do with drawing near to the Lord, receiving from Him those things that transform us from the inside out. Mm -hmm.